This is the one video that might actually help you finally get funded. What is good, my people? We are back again with another gem. Listen, today, man, I am going to be sharing my secrets on how I'm able to pass all of my funded challenges. I'm going to dive in, tell y'all exactly my mental process, my trading process, why I'm taking certain trades, why I'm not taking certain trades. And I'm going to give you guys the overall secret sauce that I use to get funded by basically any prop firm that there is. So if you're excited for this video, if you've been struggling with getting funded, if you're trying to get funded over and over and over again and keep losing all your challenges, you're going to want to watch this video all the way to the end. And all I ask is that you subscribe and hit that like button because at the end of the day, it's free and you know what I'm saying just freaking do it it's pretty easy it's two buttons just press it but without further ado man let's just hop right into this video all right so what are prop firms what are what are funded challenges you know what I'm saying if you don't know what it is they're basically where you can pay a certain amount of money and get access to a certain amount of funds and then all the money that you make trading on that th those accounts you get to keep a certain percentage of it now they vary depending on what prop firm you use and all that stuff but generally that's that's basically what it all is it's you pay a certain amount let's say five hundred dollars then you get access to a hundred thousand dollars to trade with and that's very attractive for a lot of new traders but a lot of new traders a lot of tra seasoned traders overall are going about it the wrong way and that's why i wanted to make this video to kind of give you guys a little inside scope on how i personally like to do it how i do it because i do use funded accounts sometimes um if i'm trading futures most of the time i'm using my own funds if i'm trading forex like if i'm trading gold gj any of that half the time i'm using a funded account half the time i'm using my live so i do i don't think there's anything wrong with funded accounts i think it does help a lot of uh people who actually know how to pass the challenges and stop wasting their money buying all these challenges so i think it can definitely help a lot of people but it's really trapping a lot of people and holding people back a lot so now i'm here to change that so let's hop into the juicy stuff so one of the first mistakes that i see people making when it comes to trying to pass funded challenges is the fact that they're rushing right people see that two hundred thousand dollar account that they can have they see they can be making thousands of dollars every day by trading all they have to do is pass through two stages right and people have this this mentality where they're like they need to pass it as fast as possible as fast as possible they want to do it in one trade they want to do it in two trades they want to do it um as soon as they buy the account they want that same day to be when they're passing the account and most of the time that's not happening because what that forces you to do is enter into trades that are not valid they're not a plus setups you need and i i have to emphasize this this is the secret sauce but i'm gonna dive deeper into it actually on the charts a little bit later in this video but you need to only take a plus setups treat a funded account as if it's a, a second account where you're only taking the best of the best and i'm going to show you exactly what that looks like on the charts here in a second but you have to drill that into your mind your funded account is not especially when you're trying to pass it and when you pass it then maybe you could take more trades because you can leverage a lot less but when you're trading your funded account you're trying to get funded you need to be extra selective on the trades that you're taking you don't need to and i'm gonna show you why it works out better in the end because i could pass challenges in one or two trades but um i'm not not in one or two days is a difference not one or two days one or two trades which is completely different because i could be holding an account for two weeks i could be holding an account for one week waiting for that perfect a plus setup because once you have that a plus setup and those setups where you you've seen it a hundred million times take the trades feel free to leverage a little bit more because you know your win rates on these are extremely high and like i say i'm going to show you guys an example an example in a second but you guys really need to drill in your heads that this is not an account that you're trading on every day this is not the, the account where you're taking every setup you see this is not that account especially if you, you keep losing you know what i'm saying if you keep losing you're obviously doing something wrong and this is one of the biggest things that i see people doing wrong when it comes to trying to pass their funded accounts they're trading it as if it's their regular account as if they just trade it every day to try and make money that's not how it works you need to be extra selective you need to be like a girl that's like a, a 15 out of 10 you know what i'm saying she's not giving play to every dude that walks up now if another if a dude comes up in a freaking rolls royce with um a lamborghini hat on and got freaking I got nothing else, but you get what the heck I'm saying. If a girl, you know, you, she ain't no regular degger. She ain't getting no regular degger. She's only going for the A pluses. That's how you need to be with your setups. I don't know how I just compared your trading journey to a girl that's a 15 out of 10, but hey, I did it. But without further ado, let's hop into these charts, man. Okay, so what is a A plus setup? Let me break it down perfectly for you. Keep in mind, this has to be on a strategy that you've tested before. This cannot be a just brand new strategy that you just came up with out of thin air that when you see one green candlestick, the next one's gonna be red and you just think it's gonna be perfect and you're gonna be a millionaire. This has to be a proven strategy. A proven strategy that you've tested multiple freaking times and where you've tested enough to know riskier setups, riskier versions of it versus 
more high probability and safer versions of it. That's what an A plus setup is. And let me show you a perfect example of it, right? So boom, here we are on the chart. This is the actual trade that I took to get funding. And I'll go through that a little bit later. But um, there's a difference between this trade right here and this trade right here. They're both breakouts, the same exact breakouts, right? The only difference at all is that this was a riskier setup for me. I did not take this on my funded account. I took this on my regular account. This, even though this was a bigger trade, this was still a riskier setup due to the fact that when I have one touch here on my zone, and this is a strategy that I personally use all the time. It's a breakout strategy. I talk about it inside my strategies course. I have a whole course that breaks down every strategy that I use. There's five strategies in there that I use every single freaking day inside the markets if y'all want that strategy um if y'all want that strategies course you can get it link is i can't even freaking talk link inside the bio down below i also put inside the comment section but um it breaks down all my strategies and it gives you a bunch of examples of a plus setup versions of it versus riskier setup versions of it so you can kind of be one step ahead and you don't have to do all this practice kind of yourself um but back to what i was saying this on this breakout strategy i like to have multiple touches on the the, the zone that i'm trying to break out of we really only had one touch here. So when it broke out to the downside here on this trade, this was a riskier setup for me. And there was no other really extra confluence on it. Um, we were under the VWAP. I'd gotten my golden arrow um, indicator going to the downside. Um, but I it, that was the only confluence that I had a, a, a breakout after one touch. I personally would not have taken that on my funded account, right? I took this next trade over here because there were multiple, multiple, multiple confluences. Now I'm going to break down every single one of them and why this becomes an A plus setup versus a regular setup. I showed you guys that other trade was a regular setup due to the fact that it only had one touch on the zone. When I personally, after using my strategy for years, I know that if it touches it multiple times, it's a way higher probability when it breaks out than it's going to keep breaking out. Um, so that's why I was more confident in this trade versus the other trade. Now, let me show you exactly what I mean. So we had actually two of my same strategies put together with the same in the same entry on this one trade here. And that's why I was confident enough to leverage as much as I ended up leveraging in this trade. And I'll show you guys how much I usually like to leverage per trade when I'm um, trading on my funded account. But first, let's go through this trade right here. So first of all, we had a trend line kind of going to the downside. We had multiple touches here. We had a touch right here. We had a touch right here. Then we also had a touch right here on this same white trend line. We had a bottom zone right here, multiple touches on that bottom zone. We were forming a, a, a squeeze is what I like to call inside my strategies course. We were forming a squeeze here. And when price is in our squeeze, usually when it breaks out, it breaks out crazy. And as you see, it broke out freaking crazy, right? So that was the first confluence. We had the squeeze. Now that just having a squeeze is not a high probability trade for me. It's a it's a it's a good setup. I'll take those setups every freaking day, but that's not the setups that I'll put on my funded account to try and pass my funded account in one or two trades. But then we also had a zone right here and a zone right here where price failed to break out of at the same exact zone right here, right? We have two touches to that zone as well. And what did price do? It came and broke out of that zone and actually closed above that zone over here, which was absolutely beautiful. That's what we wanted. That's a second confluence. So two of my strategies put together in one with the same candlestick entry literally appeared at the same time. So that's a high probability setup for me. Plus the icing on the top is that we had just gotten a golden arrow right below it, which is another extra confluence on top of that. So this right here was just Honestly, this was just a super easy trade for me. I automatically knew when I saw these two line up that I was going to hop into the trade on my funded account. But then I saw the golden arrow pop up as well. And I was like, okay, this is absolutely freaking amazing. So I ended up hopping in one position here. I risked 1.5% of um, the account that, I, well, yeah, 1.5% of the account. I needed to get 10%. And then when I saw it pushing and we weren't getting any slowdown, we had a little retracement down on this candlestick right here. And I ended up hopping in the trade with another position right here. So I was ultimately risking around 2.5%, 2.2 uh, or 2.5% of the account on this one trade with those two positions open. And I went to, for a one to four risk to war ratio because I had a profit target up here of the last high. And as you see, price came up here. We had literal, little to no resistance at all going to the upside hit my full take profit, and I ended up passing the funded challenge in one single trade. 
Now, I had this account for a little while, right? This is the account that I passed it on. As you can see, you can see all my trades here. I had this account for a little while before I even took any trades on it. I ended up taking this first trade right here on gold on the 21st, which was a, it was a high probability setup. I'm not gonna say that you win every single one of them, but as you see here, I lost less than 1% of the account on this trade because I the, the it wasn't lining up. I had the right entry signals, but as far as the continuation, of it and being in the trade, I did not like how it was going. Here, it was no resistance going to the upside. On this gold trade, I ended up closing it early because there was resistance just getting out of my into profit. And I didn't like that. So I waited for price to come back up closer to my entry and I ended up closing it out a little bit um, early, right? But then I waited actually the next day, NAS had given me a, a um, opportunity here. This was the first trade right here. We see we made 11 thousand dollars on that one trade and then i entered another position here like i told you guys and this was the second position ten thousand five hundred fifty four i ended up closing them both on the same exact day actually and it literally literally in two trades it was not two days that's why i wanted to clarify inside the beginning this is not two days this is not one day i did not do this in one day i waited and waited and waited for the perfect setup and trading on this account. That's why I highly suggest that you guys have another account that you guys trade on, whether it be your live account with a little bit of money in it, whatever it is, if you're not able to like look at the markets and not trade on a certain day if you don't see an A plus setup. Because you're like I said, your funded account, especially when you're trying to pass it, should not be the account that you're trading every day. This should be the oh snap, this is a beautiful setup. Enter on this account kind of thing. It should not be a, uh, we got a setup here. Let me try it on my funded account. That's not how it works. You're going to keep losing money and keep losing accounts on it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Then, obviously, I had to pass to get the 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 multiple. Uh, I had to get five days of trading, minimum five days of trading days. Um, so, I just entered, a, entered small lot sizes for the, uh, the rest of the days there. And I ended up passing it. Now, one thing that I do have to mention, right? There are, like I said, with prop firms, with funded accounts, there are a bunch of different ones. And there are a bunch of different ones that have certain rules. The one that I like to use, as you guys see up here, is Funder Pro. I actually have a, a discount code. There's a link for it inside the description down below. Um, and you can get 10% off if you use code JUVIER10, J-O-O-V-I-E-R-10. You'll get 10% off any of the challenges. But the reason I like them is because there's literally no time limit. And that's essential because a lot of these prop firms have time limits. They have a certain amount of days that you have to pass the challenge by or you automatically fail and you lose all the money. And what that does for people, it makes people literally literally have to enter into trades and it's it's good kind of for the funded accounts because they, they they rush people into trades and which make ultimately makes them more money because their customers keep buying it in but um like i said the reason i like this one funder pro is simply due to the fact that they have no time limits so you can you can hold this account for freaking three years waiting for your perfect setup and you would still have it you know what i'm saying which eliminates a lot of the pressure on the back end of you having to find a trade having to trade having to hurry up and pass the challenge which is absolutely amazing like i said if y'all want to use funder pro um you can click the link for it inside my description down below and use code you fear you'll get 10 percent off any single challenge at all um just because i'm a cool guy you know what i'm saying anyways that's the end of the video hopefully you guys are ever get something out of it you just need to drill this into your head that funded accounts are not your everyday trading accounts if you want to pass funded challenges don't trade it every day trade it when you see those a plus setups Figure out what those A-plus setups look like for your strategy. If not, you can get my strategies course 100%. You know what I'm saying? I have all my strategies in there. You also get access to the Discord um, where I every basically every morning I do pre-market breakdowns and analysis of what I'm looking at for the markets and what I want price to do, my profit targets, my trade setups, all that different type of stuff. You'll get access to that for free um, if you um, sign up for any of my courses. So if you want to sign up for any of my courses, there's a link for inside the description down below. And like I said, if you guys want to get a funded account, I have a link for funded account, the funded account that I use in the description down below. You get payouts every single week, which is great. You get no time limits, which is great. You're able to use Osprey, the broker that I use. Um, when you're trading it, you're able to use Trade Locker, which is absolutely freaking amazing. I need to make a video on Trade Locker actually. 
Um, but yeah, you can get all that link for inside the description down below. Use code Juver10 for 10% off. And um, yeah, I wish you all the best. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna lie to you. I wish you all the best because I know you can pass the challenge. Once you pass that challenge, it's a breath of freaking fresh air. You can actually start making money from your trading, making a lot of money actually from your trading, which is great. People look forward to that, and I know you'll be able to do it as long as you stay disciplined and take those A plus setups. But if you enjoyed this video, I know you'll enjoy this video right here. I went over the exact strategy that I used to pass my funded account challenges in, I think, like two or three trades. I did a deep dive into the strategy. So I know you'll enjoy this video right here. That's for about it. I'm going to see you on the next video.